key of D in general. And so I opened up with a, just a tiny little handful of a Scrapper Blackwell type of sound. Now, I know I said I'm talking about the key of D and I had this capo on because I like the sound of uh, like capoing it higher up on the neck and then playing in those open positions. <laughs> Dispensing of the capo for a minute, and we're actually in D. Um, the guy that really mastered the key of D after Scrapper Blackwell is Earl Hooker. And that is some really neat stuff. He actually plays some of the same thing in um, Blues and D Natural. Chicago blues band setting. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about it because you don't see a lot of people playing in D. Um, you see them playing in various iterations of an E position or an A position. You don't see D, you don't really see B either, which is another topic for another time. So these are some things you can do, you know. The same way if you're an A and you go. do that in D, right? And you'll hear that in some of the different live or hooker, or hookers first and last where it has them doing this, you know. So this is another good one here. This is something you do over the four chord. This is like a G ninth. So, um, what this was was your first finger on the first fret of the E string excuse me, and your second finger on the second part of the G string, and you can hammer it on. There's a, one really cool Otis Rush thing, it's in Cotton Country by Jimmy Dawkins, where he goes, oh, whoa! <laughs> so that's a cool uh, D, D like there, but this is easy. And then, this is your, on the third finger of the D string and first finger of the G string. And once more you have this open B string, that's kind of the common theme of all this stuff. And then it resolves kind of to the major. like if you're an E and you go it's like that so it's on the fifth sixth fret and then I moved it up three frets there's a great lick in blues and D natural where he goes let's see if I can get this it's really amazing he actually I think he really Bends this up. Something like that. That's so um, that's in blues and D natural. I will actually post the second that it occurs there. So that's kind of neat. Um, the other great song in D is Pretty Baby by Junior Parker. And this is like a great D lump. I'm gonna turn on my bad monkey for this. So and it starts out typically, you know, in this kind of E position that we've talked about, right? You know? Right there, that tells you it's in D. You know, without, with, it do, you know, there ain't no way that ain't a D, right? You hear that? 
So. I like these upside down lumps. Like instead of this, it's like an upside down lump. D is when you have this, you just take your D shape and move it up two, uh, three frets, I guess. Yeah, and then that's part of a D here, and you just now you got the blues, right? So we'll just take it out with this. to the position in G in the, the typical, more or less the typical blues in this area. And that's how you get rolling on the Earl Hooker thing. So three great masters of the key of D. Pat Hare on the Junior Parker record and Earl Hooker on Blues and D Natural and anything you ever played in the key of D and Scrapper Blackwell. So have fun. Thanks a lot.